The first thing I want to talk about is I want to talk about calm. And what does calm mean to you? Does calm mean kind of just a blank mind? Does calm mean just uh, sort of thinking about nothing, just kind of a blissed out state like those really beautiful blonde women on the cover of Time magazine, if you've seen them? Well, sometimes that's what calm feels like, but sometimes that feels a little bit like being a zombie. And sometimes we can feel calm when we're moving, and sometimes, especially for our young kids, it's really, really important to have activities where we move and where we toggle between movement and stillness as a way to release nervous energy and then settle in and find calm. So we're gonna do that today, and we can do that when we're sitting or when we're standing. So the first thing I wanna do is, I'd like you to pretend that you're young children. And so let's find a bubble. Let's make a bubble around us. And the purpose of this bubble, for the, you teachers out there, is it's to build some sense of the space around us so we're not knocking into each other when we're moving. I don't see anybody finding their bubbles. Let's see those hands. Thank you, everybody. There we go. You've got your bubble. It can be up. It can be sideways. It can be forward and back. It can be down. Now, staying within that bubble, I'd like everybody, we're gonna try this seated down because it's helpful if you can do this at a desk, but you can also do this standing. I'd like everybody to stay in their bubble and lift up their arms. Okay, you're in your bubble, so you're not touching anybody else. You're not popping anybody else's bubble, right? All right, one, two, three, shake. Shake those sillies out. One, two, three, drop. Hands on tummy. Feel your breathing. Lower your shoulders and rest. Let's slowly, as if we're in slow motion, raise our hands again. Relaxing your shoulders when you do and staying in your bubbles. One, two, three, shake, shake the sillies out, shake out all of the tension, shake out the rain, shake out the traffic, and one, two, three, drop. Feel your breathing, feel your feet against the floor, feel your bottoms on the chair, slowly as if you're in slow motion for the last time. Let's raise our hands, keeping our shoulders lower, our bodies relaxed, and we're gonna shake. Just shake out those sillies. Say, shake out any stress or strain or anything you brought with you today that you just like to let go of just for the day. One, two, three, drop. Shoulders lowered. Hearts open, backs relatively straight, eyes either closed or focused down. Let's just for one little minute think of all the people and the places and the things, even that cell phone, just include it, don't worry about it. We just include whatever's happening. The people, the places, and the things that brought us here today. Just think for a second. If one of those things hadn't happened, if one of those things had lined up a little bit differently, how life might be a little bit different today. Take just a second and think if there's something that bubbles up that you're especially grateful for. Someone, something, some place, some of the infinite field of causes and conditions that lead to every moment that especially warms your heart. And if something bubbles up that you're thankful for, silently say thank you. Holding in mind how it's a statistical improbability that all of us would be in this room today, but we are. All of us are here today to open and to align our minds and hearts. See if you can just imagine something that you would like to go home with, something that you'd like to take away from today 
and bring back. Just imagine that that's so. What is it that brought you here? And what is it that you'd like to go home with? I was brought by the wonderful work of the Dalai Lama Center, by the wonderful people who I've met in connection with that center, and with the hope that when we leave here, we'll start a ripple effect, an even bigger ripple effect than the Dalai Lama has centered and the Dalai Lama himself has already started. So what's the hope for you? What's the part of that ripple effect that you'd like to be part of, that you'd like to take out with you. One last silent moment with your eyes closed if you're comfortable keeping them closed. You can keep them open if you'd rather. And just imagine this to be so. Just imagine a world where everybody is a little bit kinder, a little more compassionate. Everyone is safe, Everyone has enough food to eat, and everyone is healthy. When you're ready, you can open your eyes. And since we've had some wonderful ch singing and chanting this morning, I'd like to close with a song for all of you early childhood and early elementary school teachers there. But we're all going to sing it together. It goes like this. I stop and feel my breathing. You want to repeat that with me? I stop and feel my breathing. Peace, <clears throat> sorry, peaceful and calm. I'm ready to. And if you're a teacher, you fill in the blank. So we're going to fill in the blank with we're ready to learn. OK, everybody want to sing that together? I stop and feel my breathing. Peaceful and calm, I'm ready to learn. Thank you, everybody.